oh hello how are you today we're not just saying fine how are you or all good i feel like this is the week that i've kind of gotten into school and like gotten into class i also booked an appointment with my therapist so i'm looking forward to that in about a week and i think after i film this i'm gonna take a break and go for a walk which has been nice i've been really enjoying getting some fresh air lately but today i wanted to sit and just chat i made a little like post-it note of things to talk to you about i had a comment recently on a video that really struck me and i knew that i could offer some advice some guidance what's been working for me and it was to the effect of things are just hard right now whether it's like covid fatigue and we're all just so done with being in quarantine or being in lockdown depending on where you're watching this video no matter where you are everyone is in the same position where we can't see all of our loved ones right and it's been almost a year of this anyway we're all like I don't know anybody who isn't struggling right now or who isn't feeling the effects of what we're going through. And I too have been in that same boat. That's why you haven't really seen me a ton on socials. That's why I haven't been filming a lot. Uh, I definitely have been on the struggle bus for sure. So I thought I would share with you today some of the things that I've been doing that have been helping me um, really in a really specific way. <laughs> These are so small, like, some of them took five minutes 20 minutes they're one-offs this isn't your typical like let's talk about self-care kind of video um although i'm happy to do that again if you're interested like self-care during this time in our world but it's interesting i think we just all feel so out of control like no one can fix this in a day and it's just agonizingly been going on for so long. So I think subconsciously I've been looking for things that are like start, do, complete, feel good projects, if that makes sense. So like small things that have been nagging me or that make me feel good so I can feel like an inner sense of accomplishment. And I know I'm not alone because I've either been seeing posts in the marathoner group or I've been getting text messages from friends and family who have been doing this. I think we've all done something like this. So these are some of the things that have been helping me feel better. <laughs> really small, tangible, completion, able to complete in a short amount of time, not gonna take a lot of effort, not gonna take a lot of brain power, money, but still feels good. It's like, you know when you go around your house and you have those like nagging things that you're like, not today, not today, not today. Like one that I'm gonna do this coming week is clean out all of my oil diffusers because definitely don't do that enough. But I know once I do it, I'll feel a good sense of accomplishment. Another one is I hung a curtain in my office. Said curtain, Aaron, if you're watching, when did you send me this curtain? Three years ago? I don't know. Two, I would say at least four? I don't know. So my sister gave me curtains for my office. There was two. Turned out I needed three. She sent me the third, I'm gonna guess three years ago, and it has been sitting folded neatly in my office for that long. Why? Because I had to go downstairs and get tools and get a stool. And every time I sat at my desk and thought about it, I didn't want to do it. And then I finally did it and I felt like Superwoman. I know it sounds dumb, but like, now I have, like, <laughs> I can't explain the science behind it. This is why she's going to school right now. But there's definitely something that like we like to feel that sense of control and so much of our world is out of control right now that putting up a curtain still gives me esteem i think that's what it is like i'm doing things that give me esteem and this is over weeks <laughs> okay like we're not talking like all in a day another thing that i've never done so i organized my emails friends my emails. Like, I'm just that person who has hundreds of emails in her inbox. They've been dealt with, 
but then I don't know what to do with them. I created folders. I created tags. I deleted. I printed. I like filed. <sighs> I didn't realize how good that would feel. I never even thought about it. Uh, it just really helped my subconscious and really helped my esteem. Couple other things. I uh, tidied up my linen closet while I talked to a girlfriend on my AirPods, like on my phone. I got rid of a garbage bag of linens. Why do we need so many towels? Why do I need so many sets of sheets? I don't. I have the set on my bed and then I need what? One spare? And then a flannel, maybe? Like, why do we need so many towels? I got rid of so much stuff. Like, part of it was the fact that my partner had moved in a couple months ago and we had never, like, gone through the stuff. So that was really helpful. Um, cleaned out the linen closet. She looks... One day I just left the closet open so that every time I walked back and forth, I was like, yes, yes. It sounds simple. But I'm telling you, it gets, it brings me so much joy. Also, if you've been a marathoner for a while, I have talked about this before. My front closet, <clears throat> like the door, front door, you walk in, hall closet, coat closet, bane of my existence. It's so small. It's so poorly designed. And I bought a $4 hanger from the dollar store with a bunch of like pockets in it for all our winter gear. Problem solved. I've lived here for 11 years. I felt like a superstar. And I also photographed the process and brought my sister along for the ride with me over the phone. And it felt amazing. Also bought like a two, three, I think it was a $3 shoe shelf from the dollar store. Thomas built it with me, put it in my closet in the bedroom, boom place for the summer shoes like it's like nagging things that have been bugging me and were small projects that were doable I'm not talking like a huge bathroom renovation over a weekend Denise and Brad I'm looking at you good job proud of you but like that is not me would you like to come and do mine that would be great um it's like small things that you can complete and feel good and feel like a sense of accomplishment because there's so much we can't accomplish right now what else did we do? The junk drawer. I would like you to guess how many pens she had in her junk drawer in the kitchen. Keep in mind, I'm a, a former reporter. I always like to have at least four pens on my purse. I still have this like anxiety that a pen will die and I won't be able to take notes. I had 38 pens in my junk drawer. We had highlighters. We had jiffies. We had different textures. We had different like point, like tip thickness why so many expired coupons <sighs> 10 out of 10 recommend doing that now I just oh open it oh close it open it oh yes like now I know what's in there <laughs> um and then I'm also working through my clothes dresser one drawer at a time like do one drawer every few days instead of like, oh, I gotta tidy my dresser and it feels really good. I hope that this is like ringing true to you. It's like things that just make me feel good that have been bugging me around the house but are a simple fix and virtually free. If, you, if you're like me, I've been feeling a bit like rudderless if that makes sense, kind of like not really sure what to do. You know, we're home all the time. I have plenty of work and I have plenty of school and like parenting and stuff, but those little jobs that aren't cleaning but still feel good, like something that you've wanted to do forever, let me know down below and then like do it. It feels good and it kind of creates like a bit of momentum. Uh, what else did I do? I think I cleaned out the cupboard uh, underneath my bathroom sink, which I'm pretty sure just multiplies on its own, like procreates with stuff. That felt really good. Um, oh my god, another one. Do I tell this to the internet? Mm, sure. So there's a garbage can between my washer and dryer that, you know, like the lint goes in, 
whatever else goes in there. And it never had a garbage bag. So gross. Never. Has it ever? Again, 11 years I've lived here. So last time I emptied it, because it doesn't need to be emptied very often, right? I put a garbage bag, like lined it. Oh, every time I put garbage in, I'm like, yes, future self. Yes, future self. <laughs> Just wondering if my boyfriend's watching this and he's like, yeah, I need to. That's, that's it. She's too weird. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll tell him to skip this one. <laughs> no, he already knows. <laughs> so tell me, down below, tell me some things that like, or go do something around your house that like been just pissing you off or like is on your mind and just fix it in like a really simple way and then you can just tick go back to Netflix or go back to reading or whatever it is plus I really like these little jobs because they get you off your phone they get you off scrolling they get you off checking the news the COVID numbers the whatever it is that's like negative for you online and it just helps you not look at a screen for a while so let me know. Me and my stick gum. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Like, it's making me so happy. And then also maybe some of the things that you try, I'll try. I'm sure there's more. I'm trying to think. That was plenty. <laughs> if this is your first video, hi. <laughs> Uh, I hope you are well, and if you are not, you are not alone. You can do anything for 10 minutes. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Now that I have like filmed, edited, and I was about to upload this video, I thought I kind of now just want to like show you some of those things and not just have chitty chatted. So we're going to do a little iPhone sitch. Here we go. Ooh, one, two, three curtains. Yes. Used to just be one that I would try and make do and then two. Look how good that looks. This is that thing in the front closet I was mentioning. Look at that. I think this was four dollars. It just holds like scarves, toques, mitts. Amazing. Which all used to be up there and annoying. And <sighs> this is the shoe rack. Yep. This is the shoe rack. I think it was like three bucks at the dollar store and Thomas helped me build it. it. Just looks so much nicer. This is the linen closet. Da 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 da. I know it's very dark. But look, look at it. Look at it. Let me show you. Oh, uh, this looks really creepy. <laughs> I'm so. I didn't do a before picture because honestly, we just needed to move on. I'm not going to show you a garbage can with a garbage bag, but know that that brought me joy to no end. Okay, now I'm saying goodbye.